I was, we always rely on them just every day, just going in there. I mean, they do our laundry for us and every day and they put it back <laughs> in a little box so we don't have to do anything. I mean, yeah. it's like, they're like our parents kind of. Laundry's probably one of the best jobs you'd ever have, have, have here. Players bring the dirty stuff and we get to load it up and it smells, but I still enjoy doing it for some reason. Equipment managing is no joke. This is a real serious business and it's something that I, I wish more people would know about because I guess one of those things go underappreciated. Here we have the laundry boxes. This is where we put the laundry away every morning. We wheel these nice big green carts out, full top, with nice clean laundry. And, this, and the players will come, they'll uh, do the combo. And then they'll yeah. harass us for about five minutes, say, where's my loop at? My name is Aaron Medina. I'm a senior, 22 years old, and I am from Ripon, California. Yes. I oversee like the everyday operations of uh, Oregon football, helping set a practice, um, doing the laundry, making sure the players have the right equipment so they can go out and practice. And on game days, we make sure that the players have all their equipment so they can perform their best on game days. Um, I just say we depend on them a lot. Yeah, a good amount. Like just any time you have anything wrong with your equipment, like your chin strap, like breaks or you got a buckle in your helmet that breaks or you something comes loose you just go to them and they fix you up right away so like i mean they're a big part of our team and we need them every every out of every ncaa football team we probably have the hardest job and we have the least, we have managers, the least managers, of managers we're more efficient than a lot of other a lot of other schools mm, i don't think it makes a difference i think it's a little better because we know our equipment dudes on a personal level better like if you have 30 dudes i'm not gonna not that I'm not going to, but it'd be hard to take the time to get to know everybody. But since we have a small group, it's just easier to know everybody and know everybody's name. So it's cool. Absolutely. I say we take on much more work than anybody else takes on. We have so many game helmets, so many jerseys, you know, a lot more gear than other schools would have compared to, you know, like Auburn has one, one jersey, you know, one, road, one home jersey, one road jersey. And they have like usually one set of cleats and one set of game pants. So like they know as much stuff to deal with as we do. You know, we have a white helmet, a green helmet a carbon fiber helmet, a black helmet, a you know, throwback helmet. And we have so, many, so much to deal with that I would consider our work a lot more substantial than other schools in the country. During our typical week, we can work, including game days, uh, up to a 60 hour week. Once, once fall camp starts, we stand our lives away to Oregon football for, for the next six months. six months. Coach Kelly demands the best out of all of us, and if that's how he's gotta get it done, that's how he's gonna get done. But I respect him for everything he does, and he's a hell of a coach, and I, I admire him every day. He just, he's taught me a lot about just like not only football, but life. You know, I really take that win, win the day to the heart. So I do every day. If he doesn't place the ball at Coach Kelly's pace, then uh, they're, getting, they're getting dogged, <laughs> like hard. So they're like, Kwaji's working up a sweat when he's out there on the sideline. Like, I want to be able to come back after some of the things Qua uh, Coach Kelly has said to Kwaji. Like, I'm like, okay, this is going to be my last day working here. But you feel me? <laughs> Kwaji loves what he does, so he always comes back. He's yelled at Kwaji quite a few times. Like, right in front of me. I just be, he just blares it out over the little blowhorn. Kwaji! I'm just like, hey, what'd he do? Uh, every once in a while, they'd want us to stop the clock just to slow practice down for a little bit. And Kwaji's standing with me at the 50-yard line. And the coaches start yelling, stop the clock. And at this point in fall camp, everyone knew that Quaz was going to stop it. And so he was running to go get it. And everyone's watching him. You know Aaron just sprinting everywhere he goes. And he was just sprinting to get the ball. He tries, he rounds the corner and his body starts moving faster than his legs. And he slowly leans over and then just eats it. And just boom. Yeah, and everyone's laughing. And then the next day, the video guys, they put that clip in front of every single position meeting, so every single person on the team saw Kwa. And then, and thus, the legend of Kwa was born. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Like, <laughs> that's, like that's all I know. Like, I, I mean, I guess. Else, like, I mean, he ain't got a hunchback. I don't know. Big. I wouldn't call Kwasi the Hunchback of Notre Dame. No, but man. it's a nice name. We, we love Kwasi. Yeah, we love Kwasi. The first day I um. I came on to, to work in the spring. I remember the first nickname that the senior offensive lineman gave me was Tits. And apparently that didn't fly. So the next day I show up to work and they just say, your name is Quasi, and that's how it is. And I never know the origin of it. And ever since then, it's just, it's, that's how it's been. Every time Quasi runs out, he has this fan club that love him. And like, they all cheer for him when he runs out and gets the little, uh, 
kicking tea thingy. Yeah. And so they love that. And he comes back and they're just screaming his name. It's funny, but he's like almost inspiring sometimes. Like, cause like he loves what he does and he's going out there sprinting every time to get the thing. And I'm just like, okay, if he can sprint, like why can't I sprint in this place? So, I mean, I just looked at Quasi, he's out there running. So I'm gonna be running, so. I think that's pretty cool. Like I just, I never, Asked anybody to like ever get any recognition, but it's cool to see that people actually recognize like what I do and like appreciate what I do. I would describe like those guys are, like my brothers. I hang with those guys every day. Like we we work together. Like we see each other. We basically live together. We consider them part of the team. Yeah, I mean, yeah. coaches and do also. Also, family. So like they're part of the family too. You get, time, you, hang, you get to hang out with your friends. What's pretty cool about it? Like you you make, you make your best friends for this job, and that's probably the best benefit out of all. Uh, I think I could, I could think about. It. I live every minute of it. And a lot of memories and a lot of good times. A lot of hard work and sweat important, important to this job.